Hey everyone, I'm Rather Incoherent, back with more Dark Matter. We're playing the Force scenario in the Shadow of Earth, and before we get into any of this, let's quickly go talk about our deck upgrades and Mateo and Mary. Coming over to Father Mateo's deck, you can see that it's a little bit broken. Arcane Research and Down the Rabbit Hole are not playing nice together for some reason. This should cost one experience. Ward and Divination both get the upgrade from Down the Rabbit Hole. They're both being upgraded. That's minus one to each of them, dropping our total cost from two and three, from five down to three. And then Arcane Research goes off, dropping it from three to one. I think that for some reason it's refusing to put the Arcane Research on Divination. I can't get it to do it correctly. So I'm just going to add myself an experience to make up for the one that's been artificially taken away. And with that experience that we have remaining, I'm going to be buying Charisma, because of course I am. I would love to have both allies out at the same time. Leaving us with this deck and these changes. Now, coming over to Mary, as always, I'm giving her the extra experience, but I don't even know what it's for because I just banked it. I've upgraded my emergency cash because it's going to be giving me that draw turn one every game, so it's very nice. I've got my second Branded Kathaga. I've upgraded my Runic Axe to contain Script Weaver, which is the one where now for a single charge, I get plus one damage and plus two accuracy. After this, we'll be going for Ancient Power. But Ancient Power is far less important than the rest of the axe, so let's get back in the scenario and start talking about what it is we'll be swinging at. And one little bit of setup before we get into the scenario, a random card from Evidence will go under the scenario reference card. That is the Mimic, whoever that is. So now let's go do John Carpenter's The Thing in Space and Arkham Horror, because that's what this is. We approach the station, the Nostalgia 2, three Doom on the first threshold. We can scan by spending player clues. And this is a new twist on it. The top card of the scanning deck needs to be matching your current location. We're not doing the shuffling thing. We can only scan this if we're at red square or uh, triple circle. So here and here, which means we're going to the infirmary. Uh, this is not to benefit me in any way. I think this deck hasn't been shuffled and I feel like it should be shuffled every time. It might be shuffled automatically, but I will shuffle it once. Now we're looking at green sticks and a T-junction. That is these two over here. It's further away. Good. It doesn't benefit us. That's what I want to say. Now, coming over to the act, we just need to get a story asset from the scanning deck. So once we scan, we'll be making progress. We're starting down here in the airlock, of course. One shroud, two clues. Screw this. Resign. Leave. Alternatively, we can help the crew leave and save them, but we should probably make sure they're not mimics first. We'll get more into that later. For now, it's time to start going around the ship asking what's going on. And our opening hands. All right, I'm going to be honest. I need to stop drawing this tarot on Mary so I can get a better opinion on the character. She's a lot better with just four fist. Replace the weakness. Branding Kathug is back, is it? That's a really good opening hand. Like, that's part of the course at this point for Mary, but still. And all of this can go immediately. Also, start with two blesses in the bag. Draw the wrong hand, as always. Did I hit four? That's definitely not my Branding Kathug, so yes, I did. And draw to the wrong hand, as always. <laughs> Not the best opening hand, I'm going to be honest. Pretty sub party. Just not thrilled about any of this on Mateo. And he's the one that actually wins the scenarios. Anyways, we emergency cash immediately on Sister Mary with our stick to the plan. And then we backpack. And presumably this will hit an axe or at least a gun. Axe, second card in the deck, re-rolling this tarot, not getting our weakness. Generally a lot of bad cards went away with this one. Didn't get the full three hit, but we did what it needed to do, so I'm more than happy with it. Thompson goes here as Crypt Show Fodder, and the Runic Axe gets played immediately. Uh, do I want to save it for Greed? It would be 4, 7, 10. I save it for Greed. I don't play this yet. Because I can ever Vigilant perfectly next turn with double Guard Dog, and like anyone's a good fighter if they got two Guard Dogs, right? <laughs> Just going like, to gain a resource? I don't want to draw a card right now for fear of hitting one of my weaknesses. Either of them, really. Over here, I think I'm going to... Draw a card. I don't want to play Tempt Fate just yet. I want to wait until I have Favor of the Sun in hand. That's very bad. I should probably have my health set to the correct numbers. I don't know why that's at six. I'm going to trip him up one as my last action, I guess. Yeah, not so much. Anyway, enemy phase. I get hit for a 1 1. Not the blistering start we were looking for from our Kluver. Just creating problems over there. 1 of 3 Doom. Evil cards. Add our Bless token like you're supposed to do. We've got Infection. Put this card into play in your threat area as an additional cost to move or perform abilities. Take one damage. Then your card. But do I have a Ward of Protection on somebody? No, of course not. That would be, that would be ridiculous. What, you think you can run six of those or something? I guess we're going to take some damage from uh, our axe then, aren't we? Damn shame about that. Anyway, over here, we're off to a really bad start. I don't have any allies. Joke's on you. 
No one does, in fact. So this just fizzles. I'm going to use Ever Vigilant to under my stick to the plan. I'm going to play Guard Dog, Guard Dog, Runic Axe. That is 10 reduced by 3 down to 7, so I have 2 resources remaining. I'm going to draw a card. And I don't feel like just taking a damage for no reason, so I engage the Serpents instead. I haven't used any move or performed ability actions, so we're good. That'll discard at the end of the round. I'm not doing anything before then, so we're safe. Just discard it now so I don't forget. Then over here, I'm allowed to play the game this turn. Holy Rosary, Divination. Divination is three, so that leaves me with one resource. I'm not entirely sure why I would get clues from a non-victory location. I'm a little bit spooked about running away from my teammate, though. I need them to protect me, so I'll play Emergency Cash. I have to do that eventually anyway. It's better than putting distance between us. Upkeep. We get slapped over here. Horror on me, damage on dog, damage on you. Then upkeep. Two of three doom and evil cards. The Call of the Void. Surge cannot be canceled or ignored. There are not three or more tally marks. So this does nothing and then we get our next one. The Micro Meteoroid is back, but this time we can discard the events in our hand uh, because it's just a single word of protection, which is the same as wording it. I'd rather not take two damage. So yeah, I just discard the events in my hand when I fail and it's ward and that's the same as warding it. No reason to concern myself. The colors of space are back. I had two promise of powers in my hand, so I'd rather not do this one. We both got guts. I'm gonna commit the guts from Mary instead. Putting me at five, six, seven to three. That's pretty solid. Uh, I need to figure out what those do. That's kind of important. This tablet is reveal another token. Cool, we pass. I forgot the bless on Sister Mary, if I'm remembering correctly. I didn't, look at me go. But I still add two blesses from the Holy Rosary, so we're adding that anyway. And this is gone, it's not in my threat area. Cool, Sister Mary is gonna go first. Now that she's safe to swing axes, she's going to swing this axe. She has three, four, five, six, seven for two, just like don't auto fail, it's pretty safe. Release this, and this is back in your graveyard, and we can discard these tokens. I'm gonna move to the next location on Mary. I believe we cannot enter this one. Yeah, we need access in there. Everyone else has no text on their other sides, though. Hydroponics, three shroud, four clues. There are no clues, and you have three or fewer remaining sanity. Everyone gets a tally mark next to memories. Mateo's distressingly close to that threshold. Oh, I should also draw a card over here for the guts. That's important. I think I'm willing to just draw another card. And I'll play out Brandon if I go for a safer swing over. With that done, it's Mateo's turn. This is, again, not a victory location, but there is a reason to get clues, and we will need clues eventually. I'm going to move, play Right of Seeking, and use Right of Seeking. It's just a very efficient turn. What's Tablet do? Minus two, I'm at seven, so I don't think that'll be a fail against Shroud three. I'll take two clues. And that's it for us, so straight into upkeep. All of us here, so it's nice to have the sanity soak, considering what I'm about to intentionally do. Three doom, let's see what happens. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile under the deck. And discard cards from the top until an enemy is discarded. Spawn them and ship mainframe. It's rats, question mark? The rats are one, one, three, and they have hunter, and after you defeat them, you draw the top card of the encounter deck. And then we take our normal encounter cards. We get Micro Meteoroid again. I'll take two damage, but I've got both guard dogs in play. I have a lot of health soak left in my desk. I think I just take two damage about this. I'm not sure I'm overly concerned. I could award it, but like, why would I bother? Yeah, I could also just take it at up zero. It's just not even the biggest deal, right? I'm just gonna take it at up zero. Oh, now it could be a big deal though. All right, <laughs> so I can take two damage and pass, avoiding two damage or I can automatically fail and take two damage. I'm not sure I'm really being given a choice here, game. Um, great, you contaminated my dogs. What does this do? Discard the attached ally, or place a doom on it. There should be a med bay in front of us, the infirmary, yes. We're gonna go first on Sister Mary and go into the infirmary and see how to work on dogs. Force round, two clues, and you can choose an ally at this location as an action, test two book. If you succeed, get rid of contamination. I can always just lose the dog as well. Anyway, I can't do that test without using Promise of Power, and the Doom isn't immediately relevant. Well, the Doom goes on the dog, not the contamination, right? So if I don't do this this turn, it's a problem. It's still better to do it like over here. Check this, I did not do a Bless Tokens during the previous end of round phase. Still not sure what I'm doing about this dog. I'm gonna draw a card. 
Well, I mean, if you want me to do it that bad, I'll test up three. Cool, the dog is no longer contaminated. That'll be Mary's turn. Over here on Mateo, we're looking for... We're still not quite at our objective when we move up with Mary. I need to draw cards. There is still a weakness in my deck, so I'm going to move first. And then I'm going to draw. And I may as well ride of seeking last action. Yeah, it's not a great number, but I commit guts to be up four. To try to cycle the guts. I'm going to draw a card off of that and gain a resource as well. Hey, it's that guy I was just talking about. Uh, man, I really am struggling to find these last spellfinding assets. We're not even spellfinding assets. I just won't favor the sun really badly. I'm just feeling real naked without it. Anyway, I take a horror immediately, which gets me into range to do this later, which is kind of funny. And then we go into upkeep. Second beat cop, or first beat cop rather, is nice. What if we're doomed? There's additional text now about whenever crew assets get discarded, you need to do more with them. I don't have any assets in my discard pile, so instead it's just a 3-4-3 three, three that hits for 2, which is still terrifying. Did you know that if you have a dead beat cop, you can arrest the Mimic because now he has hands? For your handcuffs? That's pretty good, I like that. I'm really not overly concerned about this guy, I've got the guard dogs to mess him up pretty good. What are we getting over here? This goes into play next to the agenda deck. After an ally asset leaves play, place one doom. Test three head or foot. If you succeed, discard it. I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Oh, I've got to do um, the turn over here first. I'm going to engage this while the mimic is engaged with me, causing him to hit both guard dogs, which is going to deal two damage right back to him. Good job, dogs. I'm going to swing the axe at him. My number is four, five, six, seven to three for two damage. So I'm up four. He's done. I'm going to swing my axe at the other guy. I don't remember what that does. Reveal another token. We're good. Oh, wait. I don't discard this one. It's a weakness. So it'll go in the discard pile. Now, over here, we need to test this. I'm committing guts. I need to cycle guts. We're at four, five, six, seven, or three. Beat the bag. Stop. We remove that. We remove this. We draw a card off of guts. I play all of McBride. And then I play Word of Production, or sorry, Word of Ra, completely wrong name. I'm going to use all of his ability. It says when you would reveal a Chaos Token, so it can't be results oriented, so I just use her ability on the first one and reveal three. I cancel the minus two, and then I pull two more for the rest of Word of Ra. I get six resources. That's all, that's all pretty good. Good job. Good job, Olive. I see why you're in the deck. Uh, Mythos test, Olive, Ward, we're done. That's disgusting. That's better than green economy. Holy shit. Anyway, upkeep phase. Word of Radiance is great. Ace of Swords, not so much. Two of Four Doom. Micrometeor on his back. <laughs> Stop drawing this. Holy shit, I've taken so much damage from this card. Uh, I can just let it kill a dog. I know it sounds inhumane, but I want to play a Beat Cop for more soak anyway. I think it's just better to Promise Power this. We have two sitting over here, so we use it here instead. We're up three. Get it out of here. Over here, Hopeless is in my threat area, and Hopeless means when the agenda advances, I test three head. And if I fail, take a horror for every cruiser asset at my location. I should be fine with that. I've got five head base. I'll have Jacob in play. It's just not going to be a big deal. Cool. I'm feeling pretty in control at the moment. We did have a bit of a slow start, but things are good now. I feel like the play is very much just Jacob move investigate. Don't really see a reason to get it more complicated than that, so we play Jacob. We move to the next location. The flight deck. It's victory one, three shroud, two clues. As an action, you can deal too hard to everyone at this location and gain two clues in the token bank. No, thank you. I don't feel like I'm going to need to do that one. Anyways, I'm going to investigate with Ride of Seeking last action just because it's very efficient. We're at four, five to three. I bet Jacob if I get a bad pull. Ancient Covenant, stop. And I'll take both clues. Now over here on Sister Mary, I'm going to walk up. I'm going to use the free scan from Kate. I already remembered. We're looking for, well, we already know it's the correct card. We get Lieutenant Archer Michaels Revelation put her into play under your control. So it has to go to Mary. Deal two damage to an enemy in play as an action. Doesn't provoke attacks or opportunity. Group one once per game. Yeah, it's minor, but it's nice. Uh, I'm gonna put, <laughs> I'm gonna run out of space to these guys. I'm gonna put Archer down here, I guess. And now we advance. We reveal the ship mainframe and advance to act two. Oh, these rats were here. How long ago did we get rats? It was from this agenda. 
So we had a Doom advancing one and two. The rats should have hunted once and twice, which means they should have caught this guard dog and killed them and killed themselves. And that means they would have surged into the next card on Mary, which is the color of space. We're testing three head. We're guts up three. It's gone cycle a card. Okay. Thanks, guard dog, for making it really easy to resolve what that would have done. They didn't have prey, did they? Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. Guard dog is such a good card. Second action, in light of my recently dead guard dog, I'll be playing a beat cop. Uh, what's our new scanning card, by the way? It is triple pips, so beneath us, I'm just gonna... Mm, do I want to walk back down? I've got three foot and lucky on a stick. I'll be fine. Uh, it just feels bad. It just feels real bad. I'm going to gain a resource so I can play Guardian Angel next turn. Stay near my Kluver. Do my job as Bodyguard a little bit better. Good cards to draw. Three of four Doom and evil cards are the Corrupted Machine. 422, location with the most clues. I believe that is the revealed mainframe. Yes. Parlay. Test head three. If you succeed, discard it. If you fail, it attacks you. It hits for 1-1. One, one. And over here, we have From the Dark. Test six foot. There are five cards in the scanning deck. So it's test one foot. If you fail, take one damage for each point you fail by. Um, I'm just gonna use Jacob if I fail. I actually did. But I'd rather just take one damage though. One's not a big number. I'll take one. If it were two, I would have used them. All right, that was a pretty soft mythos phase. We're still going in a good clip. I think we just go down and do stuff. I'm gonna go first on Mary. I'm gonna be giving her like all of the assets, I think. And she's gonna get a free scan off of Kate. She gets Dr. Fing. Double action to heal one damage from each investigator and ally asset at your location. Group limit once per game. Would have been great with guard dogs a second ago, but too late now. That'll be these two used. Oh, wait, do you also get to draw a card? Oh, you do. Um, Have two resources about it for the last one and this one. I'll play Guardian Angel to make sure everyone's safe. And at this point, I feel like I'm not really doing anything. We're looking for Hourglass and Square. That's the bottom right side. I'll cross over on Mary to this side. To be closer where Mateo will eventually be going. We've gotten this victory. We don't need to be there. We need to do that later, but not now. Okay, uh, we should probably reveal this location. Telecoms, two shroud, four clues. So it's currently act two. We can cross out two memories as a group. Draw the top card of the evidence stack and read it. Group limit once per game. Uh, that's just a thing I think we're going to have to do. If I had any good play actions, I would want to do them on Mateo. But I don't. I'm going to move down. Why is this here? Uh, it's going to do stuff in the agenda, man. It's all right. I'm going to move down. I'm going to draw a card. I don't need that emergency cash. I draw a card. Like, I just have to find more clue finding stuff. If I only have right of seeking left, I'm going to run out of steam. And I don't need to tempt fate until after the mythos phase. So I'll upkeep. Looks like I need to buy a relic hunter for second rosary. Wasn't really thinking about that, but I guess I'm going to have the experience for it. Agenda advances. Let's actually remember to put this bless in the bag. Everyone test had three. Everyone who fails records that they have been corrupted by Earth. A little bit spooky. Same we used all of our guts already, but I mean, it's fine. Just get corrupted by Earth. Who cares? I'm up four on uh, Mateo, and it's end player order, right? It specifies. Yeah, so lead investigator goes first, unfortunately. I'll promise to power this. I don't want to be corrupted by Earth. Up four. Pass, and then over here, up two. That's a pass. And what's the phrasing here? It's not a treachery, so I don't get to use Holy Rosary. Oh, wait. Uh, the agenda did advance, though, so this will go off, right? Yeah, test three head again up two. Stop. Gone. Add one bless because I'm adding two and removing one thanks to this. All right, new agenda says same as the old agenda. That's three doom. All the previous ones had pretty low doom amounts. I'm kind of sketch about time at this point, but I think we're fine. Evil cards. Mimic is back. Once again, drawn in on the right character. That's great. I don't care about this at all. I pass. I was going to discard an empty Rider Seeking, but sure, whatever. On Mary, I'm just swinging my axe at this guy twice. It seems like a very sensible thing to do. I'm swinging at three, four, five, six, seven, eight for two. So auto fail or bust. Oh, wait. That's not good enough. And then the next one, he's done. Last action, I moved down. No reason to stay up there. I could use this action for us. I want to say that I've never needed to do this in the past. So there's a way to do all of them down here. I'm going to believe that. Anyway, next location, crew quarters, three shroud, four clues, no victory. Reaction, after you get the last clue, everyone here gets two resources. Nice. I like that. I don't think we need the money because we played everything here and we have more money than God here, but I appreciate the thought. 
Mateo's definitely walking down. I want to stay near my bodyguard. Both favor the Suns are in the bottom 13. I'm going to attempt fate at this point. One, two, three. One, two, three. See if I can't get a better card. S scroll of Secrets, why not? I immediately tap the Scroll of Secrets. Get another Olive. I'm going to commit to clearing this location with Divination over a round, and that'll just be fine, probably. Yeah. Uh, that is reveal another token. I can't stop. We're good. We remove one. We're going to spend three charges and get... I'm going to spend two charges, actually, and only get two clues. Reason being, it's going to be a second Divination Investigation anyway, so if instead of spending three, I only spend two, I could draw, like, a Clairvoyance or a Rite of Seeking and use that instead and won't be forced to be Divination. Anyway, that's it for us, so upkeep phase, clarity over hand size. Hey, speak of the devil. Been drawing for you for a while. Get out of here, Olive. And now we're still not good on hand size. And now we're good on hand size, so over here in a Mary's upkeep phase, we're great. One of three Doom again. We have... Oh, wait, I just remembered something. I don't care about this advancing. I want to say there's something really hard to do where the entity's like almost an optional boss. Because you kind of need to screw around for him to show up. And since he has victory too and I'm me, you can bet I'm screwing around to fight this guy. He has a 4-3-3 massive hunter alert that hits for 3-2, like he's ancient one status. But ideally we don't attach too many face down cards to him over the course of the scenario and he's relatively easy to kill. Anyway, perfect imitation goes into play my threat area. When you draw a mimic while you control an ally asset, test Oh no, the mimics will kill my guys. I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna word that. That's the wrong direction, I just need to click out my money. And rather than taking it myself, it's just better to put it on my beat cop. Get out of here. My allies are way too valuable for that. Rats? Question mark? Alright, Sister Rare is gonna swing over with only accuracy. Alright, you're gonna take one damage. Gonna try that one again. Gonna start counting my uh, tokens now. Stop, I don't wanna get hit again. These are gonna discard over here, they're going to surge. Now I'm infected, that's completely fine. My turn's basically over anyway. You get resources from this, I don't think we even care. We're in the right place for, uh, yeah, this. Did I spend clues the first time I got people? Let me just count the missing clues. Six clues, I clearly did not spend them the first time I scanned. I'm going to scan again here, so I'm going to spend a four now and make up for the two I didn't spend earlier. I need to finish Sister Mary's turn. She still has an action. I gain a resource. Nothing I do matters. Then over here on Mateo's turn, first thing we're doing is scanning as a free action here. Yeah, we have, it's a free action thanks to Kate. I'm going to draw a card. And I'm going to get the top of the scanning deck, which is this hourglass. It's going to go into play under me, I believe. We have Sophie, 2-1 Soak. Goes into play under my control. Spend player clues to scan. Draw the top card of the deck as we were at any location. That's actually really helpful. I'm glad to see her showing up early rather than later. Oh, I drew my card off that. It was favor of the sun. We're good. Just going to move this down to the middle of the ship. We're looking for red square and pips. That is here. And pips were across and above. We haven't gone to red square yet. So I'll go to red square. We just need to review it and see if it's victory at some point. We can deal two damage to each investigator and enemy here to gain two clues on the token bank limit once around. Three shroud, two clues, victory one. I'm going to spend an action to... Oh, I could just do it next turn, actually. Then I'll draw a card instead of spending an action. First, let's just use Scroll of Secrets. There's no reason not to, really. I'll take the other Scroll of Secrets. Why not? I am going to play the other Scroll of Secrets and the Favor of the Sun. Or one, two, three resources. Seal one, two, three blesses. Not going to draw with Scroll of Secrets, because I'm not really helping myself if I do. Just overdrawing. And that'll be it for us. No enemies. Upkeep phase. Discard this. Add a bless. There we go. Two of three Doom and evil cards. The Mimic is back. I've drawn that on Mary every time. I've already, that's sick RNG. Uh, shuffle the scanning deck. Joke's on me. I'll also take one damage about it. It's getting a little bit scary over here, but not the biggest deal. And I get rats question mark. And I did overdraw here, but we don't need second rosary at all. And this mimic is a guard dog, so he has the trait creature and he deals one additional horror damage. I'm going to move down to Mateo's location. He's going to hit me for 2-1. I put a damage here on the guardian angel, adding a bless. I put a damage on the guard dog, hitting him. I tap the beat cop, hitting him again. I take the horror myself. No, I put it on Fing instead. 
Now that I'm down here, I'm going to swing at this guy. At my standard huge numbers, auto failure bust, um, ancient covenant stomp. This guy is dead. And I'm going to swing over at the rats using just accuracy, no damage. Uh, I don't know why I pulled from his bag, but I guess that's okay. I'll add the bless right back. And this is dead, and it surges. Pale blue dot attaches to our location. After you leave the attached location, you may either take one horror or add one doom to the current agenda and discard this card. It's ancient evils. Okay, so we're taking horror then. Not really too complicated on what we're doing with that one. Oh, there it is. We spend clues as a group to draw the cup card of the evidence here. Uh, unfortunately, we also need to like just do everything else, so we're probably going to have to do some other stuff. This is a head three test with uh, Jacob. We can do that very easily. I believe we replay our clairvoyance this turn. That's definitely happening. Or replace our right of seeking with the clairvoyance, rather. We investigate because why wouldn't we? Can't stop it. Please no. Uh, that's definitely fine. With with the plus four, that's definitely going to pass. Skull has no penalty. This isn't um, right of seeking. I can take a horror and leave now. What's our scanning deck location? Hourglass and T-Junction. Hourglass is right above us. I'll just walk there. Take a horror about it. Sorry about that, Olive. Actually, I'm already putting damage on Jacob, so better to put it there. And that'll be it for us. I'll keep phase. Don't think that was overdrawn anywhere. Three Doom. Not making the best tempo. There are still cards in the scanning deck. One of them is removed from the game. Rip whoever you were. And now we have it's weird and pissed off. Uh, we made a terrible pace this scenario, apparently. Checks out. We uh, You have to move around in this scenario a lot, and our team has god-awful movement tech. It's just terrible at it. Oh, wait. I got here last turn. Yeah, no. Uh, last turn, I should have done this in scans. So, one second. Were you the hourglass guy? No, so there's no effect. But I would have just scanned this last turn, and I forgot that it's not an action because of them. So, I'll have Captain Burr as well. He's in play under my control. 2-2 two -two soak. May have assigned direct damage and direct horror dealt to any investigator or ally at his location, which is pretty damn cool. And I don't see us getting all the evidence this turn. Seems unlikely. That will have cost me my two clues. And the good news is we have cleared the victory locations of clues, at least. Now, I'm going to take two damage over here, which kills my Bless Battery to use this ability and get two clues so I can scan on Sister Mary. I'm going to walk out and take a horror about it. And last action, as this guy engages me, I'm going to attempt to parlay him. I'm up one base. I thought I had promise of power when I went into this plan. Well, you know what they say. If you can't parlay them, just murder them. Who cares? What, what's the difference? I spend a charge three, four, five, six, seven, eight to four. That passes the bag. Not that. But it does pass that, actually. Could have failed very easily. Cool. And I'm going to give the... It's not a scan anymore, is it? No, it's just a thing you do as an action. We've got green and sticks. Green's here. Sticks is there. That's an action in the wrong direction. Okay, I'm going to test... Or I'm going to scan, rather, using her clues. As though I was somewhere else to get the last guy. It's Adam Turner. We killed Mudbug, really? We killed the coolest one? What a shame. What a shame. Anyways. We get Adam Turner, 2-1 soak. Goes into play with me. When an enemy spawns at your location, automatically evade it. Group limit once per game. And that will be our Kate action, which means we're getting a resource or a card draw. Uh, neither seems valuable. I'm going to take the resources. I don't discard it at the end of the turn. I'm going to walk to the objective, I think, and start getting clues so I can start doing the parlay. Is this as a group? That's very helpful. In which case, I want to get the clues here first. I'm going to clairvoyance my current location. If it's a bad number, I'll think about whether or not I need Jake. All right, I can't fix that one. I'm going to clairvoyance again. And that is fine. And I'll take both clues and walk down. All right, so that's it for us. Upkeep. We do not need this emergency cash. Or our signature, really. Over here, Lurker in the Dark means I don't have to plan about my discards anymore. One of two Doom and Evil Cards. We have From the Dark. This is difficulty six foot. For every point you fail by, take a point of damage. 
So what are the penalty tokens here again? There's no ancient evils, right? Lots of things that deal me damage, which I think would be a separate instance of damage that I can't deny. I'm going to just like use a word on this because I feel like it's only symbols. What am I talking about? I'm just going to commit to using the deny and go for it. Yeah, see, I didn't even pull a symbol. Get out of here. I was thinking like, do I need to word this? Because if I have to like put damage on my ally assets, it's really bad. But it's only one damage on one of them, right? Like it's not the biggest deal. And then Call of the Void, no doom for it. So next, scrambled, no deck to do, but it's fine. We'll still surge. I dropped the bottom card in my deck before this test. Hi, oh, second Jacob. I take the test. Oh, damn it, stop that. <laughs> I'll pass <laughs> and remove a bless about it. All right, cool. So the plan is get the clues on Mateo. I mean, it's not complicated, right? We investigate and then we do double parlay on Mateo. We kill this, we do double parlay here. I think so. But first we're gonna use divination. We're gonna be using three charges if we get the chance. We're at five, six to four. We're probably using um, Jacob on this. We roll half the amount of damage. I've got four, that's only two. That's just a pass. So I spend three, I get three clues. I'm going to double parlay by spending four of my clues. And we're going to get to look at the top two cards of the evidence deck. Is that correct? We have Captain Burr is not an imitation next to the act deck. And we have Dr. Fing is not an imitation next to the act deck. Unfortunately, this is going to advance. I'm pretty sure it's going to eat some evidence and there's just nothing I can do about it, but it's fine. We're going to swing twice at this guy and then try to do the parlay once out of bless. Cool. That, that uses two charges, but they come right back. So I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention. And I spend my two clues and I look at the top card of the evidence deck. Tragedy of tragedies, Mudbug is not a Mimic. He's also not alive. Because the Mimic may still have gotten to him, just not in the way of imitating him. Evidently, we are not going to be using this. You know what would have been really good that turn when I auto failed a clairvoyance check? Remembering that I'm playing Father Fucking Mateo. Have I even used that ability yet? Like, I'm sure I've auto failed a couple of times and been inconvenienced by it. Then over here, we don't need to discard, we're good. Two Doom, Agenda advances. Oh, uh, I messed up. We're not on the next agenda. The evidence deck wasn't empty. So we flip this back to agenda three and we still have one doom left. I messed that up. We're good. We're good. I fixed it. Uh, which means we actually might get both pieces of evidence that remain. That's really, really good. Might. Emphasis on might. The color of space doesn't matter to me at all. I just let that go off. I pass. <laughs> um, over here. Uh, we will need to get rid of this eventually, but not necessarily right now. The clue values just don't line up. We're short clues. You could move, investigate, and come back, but I don't have anything to investigate with multiple clues for, which means I don't have the number of actions you would require, which means if I get a star, it would work out, but like this would have been an action to get the star anyways. It would have canceled out. So yeah, it's the exact same situation I thought it was in just one turn later because we just don't have enough clues down here. We needed to get more clues earlier, and our tempo was terrible, and we just, we're just going to miss out on some evidence. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We promise. I'm going to investigate with Divination. Stop that. I get the last clue, and I spend it. And we open uh, not the last card in the evidence deck, but the last one we'll be getting. Adam Tanner is not an imitation, and Mudbug is useless to me. And then someone else is going to also have their thing taken away, unfortunately. I may as well test another's woe. There's no reason not to. Minus three, that will be a fail, so I tap Jacob to kill it. And I really am just screwing around waiting to, like, kill the entity at this point. Which is, uh, what's about to happen, I guess. I may as well play Hallowed Mirror. There's just not a reason not to. I'm going to use Hallowed Mirror to heal my guard dog for two damage. Seems like a sensible thing to do. And I'll play Stand Together for moral support. I don't know. Like, nothing we're doing here really matters. We're going to fail to save this last guy, unfortunately. And unfortunately, uh, we just sandbag for three rounds. This goes away. I don't get this one. Uh, go hang out with Mudbug. So we're going to save these three people. Anyone who's not these three people gets thrown in the dumpster, unfortunately. And I guess I hang out for three turns. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, add one, two, three blasts. All right, I can't. We're, we're just going to do this the slow way. Uh, cool. We're going to walk to the infirmary then on Mateo and try to do this test. 
Like, I'm going to stop doing this super fast. I'm going to play it very loose to get to the point where we're fighting the boss. It's a two book test. I use Favor of the Sun. And that readies Jacob. And I use Ancient Covenant and I pass. Sister Mary tags along. That's that. Throw away the stand together. Throw away this divination. Throw away this voice of Ra. Next round, two Doom, evil cards, corrupted machine. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, location of the most clues, actually. It doesn't even spawn with us. Doesn't have Hunter. Not a big deal at all. We walk back down to the airlock for reasons. Uh, we're going to send away anyone who doesn't actually matter. We're going to use an action here to get you out of the airlock. Wait, is it a lightning bolt? Oh. Oh, we should check which ones are which. Who's, who are the ones we get to save? Captain Burr, Dr. Fing, and Adam Tanner. Not you, Sophie. Definitely not you. Captain Burr, Adam Tanner, and Fing. These other three could be mimics, but we will send these three away. Uh, we both technically have actions left. I pass them. Three Doom. This flips for real now. The entity reveals itself. Get ready for a fight. Advanced Act 2B and Agenda 4A. Look at the story cards that are under this scenario reference card, but do not read them. For each of the story cards, we will one random chaos token from the chaos bag. If it is not a, if it is not a positive token, the crew story asset corresponding to that story card is an imitation of the entity. Was I supposed to put these underneath the uh, evidence card? Yes. So this needs to have a token pulled. Um, I don't believe I'm allowed to use favor the sun on this. Yep, uh, no one's really doing it. That is a bad token. Additionally, we have Sophie, and Sophie is also not safe. If any of those people were in the victory display, lose immediately. Very funny. Spawn the set aside the entity enemy at ship mainframe. And both Archers and Sophie are going to go over to this guy. What was the phrasing when Mudbug got removed? He is also attached. So he has three face down cards. He has a whole ass scanning deck under him. So he's got two players health, six players health. We're looking at 12, 15 health. We can handle it. Sister Mary is a great fighter. All right, uh, we need to kill the entity, and now we'll get a different ending if we resign and change our minds. Very funny. This should be gone. We get our evil cards before we get to go fight from the dark. I've got to deny existence, but I also saw my weakness in the bottom four cards in my deck, don't I? Yeah, not playing this deny. That's a trap. I can't really afford to get a mimic right now. I'm going to promise to power this. Just because it's going to negate a lot of damage, it seems like. This is a foot test. I'll commit a backpack. That gives me plus five to my three. I'm testing eight to six. Oh, come on. Stop that. Oh, I pass. <laughs> Roller coaster. Cool. Uh, the agenda just advanced. We should be doing this test. We're testing a three head. I'm up to base. I don't want to commit anything to this. Just a straight pass. I think we're already filled. We weren't. Anyway, evil card, micrometeoroid, I don't care. Fine by me, rip my scroll of secrets. Okay, cool. I assume this guy's massive, he's massive, yep. <laughs> he's got retaliate and alert, but it doesn't matter to me one bit. I walk in, I trip him with Blessing of the Sun, Ancient Covenant, and he doesn't get a say in the matter, it just happens to him. That's kind of it. Like, there's not much more I'm doing, I'm just keeping him tripped for a while. Unfortunately, I discarded my other favorite this time, like a complete idiot, so I can only keep him tripped for two whole rounds. That's still a long time, though. I'm gonna draw my last pathetic card. Sister Mary's gonna walk in, she's start hacking and chopping and all that shit. She's swinging at, again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from the charge. Eight to four beats the bag. I beat Cop, of course I do. So let's get his health counter out. He's gonna be a 15 health boss. We've already dealt one to him with a beat Cop. We swing twice for three both times, or sorry, for two each time. If it's not a curse, I don't have to think. Put a blast in the bag, boo-hoo, can't. But we did some damage. Upkeep, he readies, upkeep. Take a horror, by which I mean Olive takes a horror. Oh, hey, Favor of the Sun! I was just talking about you. Good to see you. All right, the boss is screwed. He doesn't stand a chance. Uh, I do believe this agenda advances and like he attacks all of us, right? Yeah, it just like gets to attack you anyway. But we can live a slap each, right? Yes. Yes, we can. At least presently, yes, we can. Oh, fuck off. Uh, no, no, thank you. Absolutely not. Where is it? Word of Radiance. Uh, I was overdrawn. I discarded Clairvoyance. Uh, we're going to draw the top five. All right, we're done already. He, it fails. Go away. Not taking three damage from that. 
I'm not really too concerned about losing my allies at this point. I'm gonna go first on Mateo. I use the same thing I just did to trip the guy. He does not get a say in the matter. I play a new favor of the sun because my old one appears to have run out of juice. I don't want to draw a card for fear of like, getting an enemy or anything. There's no, re there's no reason not to punch him. There's no failure anymore, right? Well, there's all these things that deal damage to me. <laughs> uh, like I could just easily draw a tablet in the cultists and take like two one. <laughs> That's unlikely though. How many curses are in the bag presently? Apparently not many. I haven't seen a curse in a while. But there's still three curses in there. I'm going to punch him. That's a waste of a bless. Uh, that's plus one, which is still a miss. Anyway, over here on Mary. I'm not going to beat cop. I'm going to let my beat cop die for soak in a second. It's just swing, swing, swing. It uses up a third charge. We're beating the bag. It's two damage a swing. Ancient Covenant's already been used. That is a pass, though. That actually is still beaten. And we Ancient Covenant still used, and that's also fine. That'll be six damage. Enemy phase, he's AFK, upkeep. We definitely don't need this ace of swords. That's definitely not happening. Two doom, agenda advances, he moves to and attacks everyone at the nearest investigator's location. So both of us take three two, which is a scary number, but we can both take the horror just fine. I clicked you in the wrong direction. Three does kill me a little bit. So I get rid of one of the horror to put a damage here. I need to take two more damage. I put one on guard dog hitting him and one on myself. Now over here, it's the same deal. I take one, two of it. So I get rid of this here. And then I don't really need Jacob Morrison either. I'll just sack him because I may as well. And now perfect imitation does nothing because I'm not going to be drawing mimics while allies are in play, which is very funny. That was the agenda flipping. Perfect imitation, not a problem at all. Game's probably ending this turn. Pale blue dot, we're not leaving this location, not how it works. I go first on Mateo, I do the thing. I don't know why I pulled a token, because that's literally not how it works. Look, I, I'm, I appreciate that you want to have a next Mythos phase game, but you don't get to. He's been evaded, retaliate is off, alert is off. There's no reason for me to do anything, so I'm going to do the most sensible thing and replay Jacob Morrison and gain a resource so I don't make things worse. Then over here, um, I'm going to play a Beat Cop. And I'm going to use him immediately to deal a damage, which is the same as swinging the axe, essentially. I'm going to swing the axe at a million. That's fine. I've got more axes where that came from. I swing it at a million. He's fucking dead. So, was our tempo and movement ability absolute trash and we failed to do the objective in a kind of a big way? Absolutely. Got crushed. I don't know if it was like bad RNG on where they were or if I like really hurt myself by not using Mateo's ability or if it was just that we don't have any movement tech and we're not really getting clues that fast. It feels like it's just that last one. But we are really good at just like stunning on a boss. Like Mateo can just declare any boss in the game is evaded. Cause I mean, he has three in foot five with Ancient Covenant. If you have less than six foot, Mateo can just say you're tripped and you don't get a say in the matter, which is pretty gross. It's a very high level of team utility. It's honestly more valuable than Ursula when it comes to evading enemies. Anyway, R3. We witnessed the manifest in madness. Yeah, that's the only way to do that. All right, I, I couldn't remember if that was the only way to do it. Every crew asset you control and that's in the scanning deck is added to the victory display. Sadly, uh, they're already safe in the ship. We just didn't need them. The Nostalgia 2 has been saved. I mean, most of it, like half the crew died. Anyone may add space artillery to their deck. I remember this being like basically just grenades, right? With extra steps. It's a two supply ranged weapon. As a double action, you choose a location, spend a supply and deal three damage to everything at that location and at each connecting location. I just don't think this is ever necessary. I'm very sure there's a cool way I can find a use for this in like the final scenario, but I just don't really care that much. So I'm going to go ahead and skip it. We get a squid for catching the eye of the king in yellow. The cleanup helper killed the box of tokens I might want later. That's kind of funny. That's fine. I can get my own squids. I'm an adult. We get our third tally under impending doom. Oh, uh, and a fourth because the entity had two of them. And we go back to search for fragment on 10. And that brings us to victory one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a good haul. I'm happy with that.
I would have really liked to save the whole crew. This is the first time I played this scenario and not save the whole crew, but I mean, that's really what I expect to see when I'm playing investigators of this caliber. I'm honestly really happy that I'll be able to be performing. Even though I know Mateo's not getting the clue pace I want out of my main cluever, he's got a lot of utility. You feel surprisingly good to play. Sister Mary, now that I have a high experience deck, is just a functional fighter with no real issues. Rune Gax is just a very good weapon if you're playing a low fist fighter. It just fixes the problem. Anyways, I've been Rather Incoherent. This has been In the Shadow of Earth. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff really does help the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next episode of Dark Matter.